So first up in the news, we have Ellen DeGeneres, who has people saying that she's all fake and people that are defending her. I deleted the video because I said something that I shouldn't have said. But, anyway. So a lot of times I will, uh, you know, delete videos because it's either too long or it's just some things I do not want being on the web. But anyway, so Ellen DeGeneres is going through this thing and even her own producers are calling her fake and then you got people like Kevin Hart. And... The thing is, is that with that, it's like, unless you're a celebrity guest on her show, then you aren't going to be treated fairly and equally. I'm guessing. I don't know. And it's not like I believe that she's the most kindest person, because I believe it's all drama and fake anyway. I mean, I'll watch it, I'll listen to it, or I have. But, I mean, I don't watch it very often, or as much as I have. I've actually been getting into high dive, which actually I have found a trick to this. Uh, so that even if it does preload some of the time, you just back it up a little bit enough to like about one second and then let it just kind of load a little bit so that you can watch it slowly. That's the way to get around that. But anyway, so yeah, like Kevin Hart and all that. Yeah, they're, they're, she's such a nice person. I wouldn't know. I don't. Um, I'm not here to judge her or not judge her personally from my own point of view. But as far as I'm concerned, any talk show host or, or talk show is all fake anyway. I mean, you know, and I'm not going to say that whether or not her kindness is fake. But I will say that, you know, it's all drama and, and stuff. Every show I've ever watched has always been that way. To be fair, even though that we've always watched it in spite or despite of that, whichever, I, I think it's more of a case of both, but whatever, let's move on. So, yeah, I mean, you know, because like any show that could be deplorably, could have the most racist crap and disgusting things that we all think is wrong, and they make parodies and jokes out of, oh my god, anyway. You know, we'll watch it anyway. So the next up in the news that I'm doing, because this is my job, and I don't get paid for this, by the way, and I'm not doing it to get paid, okay? I don't do this to get paid. I do this because, I mean, yeah, maybe a payment-wise to let everybody know how I feel about it and because of what I've read. And these are facts, as well as my own opinion that are included in it. If you don't like that, you're in the wrong damn place. Anyway, so moving on. What was it? Uh, I forgot. Well, anyway, I'm just going to move past that. So this guy just got through telling me about how he is called Ride with Dave. His name is Dave. He has a semi-truck. I don't know if he actually owns a semi-truck or not, but he said if they were training you after you work for them, or not work for them, but drive for a year for them, that's impossible. For the many reasons that I'm going to list, because... Unless they are training you for things you didn't know, then that's the only way that would work out. Otherwise, there is no point in you are wasting your time as well as their time doing that kind of stuff. Because, you know, let's say you're a person who doesn't know how to travel a vehicle, or even if you do, it doesn't matter. You will have no prior experience how to drive a uh, a semi-truck. But unless you do know that, you ain't going to be able to get out on the road. I don't care who you think you are. You have to have this and that. You have to have a, a license and all this crap. Even a CDL or whatever the hell it is nowadays. 
Uh, yeah, and it's more than just gear shifts and whatever. Every vehicle is hard to drive in general. But semi-trucks are harder because of a lot of legalities and everything else that's involved. Not to say that there isn't any legalities when it comes to driving a, any other vehicle. But this particular device or vehicle is something that you have to be prepared to know how to do. You can't just, well, okay, I'm just going to hop in a truck and just drive for a year. What are they going to teach you other than something that's new or something that wasn't covered? You have to know all the legalities. You'll have to know whether or not you ha you you have to check into way stations, uh, with or without a trailer. And I do know for a fact you have to deal with a trailer. I don't know about without one. And I do know that if they are closed, you don't have to worry about it. But if they're open and you go past there, you will be fined. That I do know that if you have a trailer. But as far as not having one at any time, I wouldn't know. It's the kind of things you have to know, okay? You have to know where you're going, all this crap. And the fact is, is that they used to not have a GPS. Now they do. People had to follow maps, had to go from here and there and just kind of get used to the roads and stuff. It took them a little while. Well, now, you, now they rely on GPS, which is... Something that should be, that you should not be recording during the time if it's your first time doing it. Always remember that because it's called using precaution. Because what if you missed your turn and, yeah, the job's not going to do that. Because a lot of times it will be time sensitive. And someone can take the try. I didn't know that was possible, but I've heard about it before you do. And... You have to know whether or not you're picking up and delivering. You know, whether it's empty or not. There's a lot of things you have to know. You know, if you're going to get out on the road, you can't just say, okay, I'm going to drive a, for a year for you. I mean, unless, of course, they are training you on the job how to do it while they, while you take them around. Before you start getting into the whole delivery business. Because even in the delivery business, there are pickups and drop-offs. I can tell you that much. And I've never worked for one in my entire life. I do know a lot of this because of my dad. And because of absolutely knowing this stuff, you know, beforehand. You know, a lot of stuff I'm about to run online and all this crap. And here's the thing. That you don't know. As well as that when it comes to being on or on the road. You just cannot hop into a truck and say okay. I'll drive for a year. Now see that's the thing. They weren't offering to teach you while you were on the road. They're offering to pay for classes and teach you. After you drive for them for a year. That is the most redundant thing that is not logical and that should be illegal as hell because it's not it's not safe to go out there like that. You cannot go unprepared. Even if you even if you knew how to drive a semi truck, there's more than just driving it. Okay. You gotta know what the hell you're doing. You gotta know all the legalities, you gotta have everything. You gotta have the all that crap, and I don't know. You have to know whether or not they're gonna pay for insurance on that truck. Uh, I do know that for a fact that if you search, research it, they will tell you they do pay for insurance for the trucks that they provide to the company. As far as your truck is concerned, I don't know if they do or not. But in a way, it's like they are anyway. Even if they did pay you. I can tell you that, even if they paid you to pay the insurance on it. So, see, that's another thing. you got to have insurance on that. See, that's the kind of shit you have to know and everything else. You can't just 
like any vehicle you take, you cannot just get into them and say, okay, I'll drive for a year before I know how to stop at a stop sign. So that's another thing. Do you know when to stop? No. You got to know how fast you can drive and how uh, when to stop before you hit a stop sign. You know, or rather, not really hit one. That's really a more of an still of ex, uh, expression of a statement. But basically, before you stop. Because otherwise, if you hit, if you pass it, you will get fined if a cop is around. You still shouldn't take the chances in case they are around. You never know. But anyway, you know, the same thing when it comes to a car. The only difference is there's a lot, a lot of more legalities and paperwork involved with any semi truck whether it's owned or not a hell of a lot so don't mistake for one damn moment because i cannot stress this enough to you don't just jump into it and say okay i'll drive for a year before i learn these damn things that doesn't make any sense i mean the guy made me know what the hell he's talking about and all that but the one thing that you should never do because it's is that because it's illegal as hell, or it should be if it's not? Is it, you'd be you'll be unwise and unsafe to drive without any knowledge beforehand, which again makes it absolutely ridiculous and useless to go to training unless again unless there's something that's that was not provided that you may have to know extra that you may have to take notes and look at it till you memorize it all and that can be a hard problem too in itself see that's another thing that makes it so damn hard is that if you gotta have a way to have a system somehow to remember everything involved in driving a semi truck i mean every freaking thing okay and I, I would say don't get into it if you can't remember it all in one in your head but that would be stupid because you know, a lot of people who drive don't remember everything. I think that's why they have to drive it, put it down, and make sure that the, everything they've done is, and they have a checklist to make sure that everything's done before they go. They can't just rush it like games can. You know, you just you hook up, boom, you're dead, you're ready to go, and then you take your, your load and drop it off to where it's gonna go. Even though that might take an hour or so, but well, at least within game time. In real life, it takes a lot longer than that because you have to check it. You have to do all the manual stuff yourself. No trader anywhere is going to hook up on its own. I don't. I don't know of any thing like that in real life. A lot of it is based on real life, but then there's just things because they don't. They. You don't have to go through all the procedures, which is good. But the bad part of it is, if you want to know how to do it, you're not going to learn it through doing that. You have to learn it through doing it through real life. Again, having prior knowledge and being prepared in that sense helps you out in the long run. And again as well, I cannot stress this all enough, all in one shot, that it does help, but at the same time, do not go for more training unless there is more to it that they have to tell you it wasn't covered. Like rules that you can't smoke in one of the rigs or whatever. They say that kind of stuff. Okay, whatever. You know, for whatever reason. If they say that, then you got to follow the rules. Sorry, but that's just the way that goes. I mean, as far as your own truck is concerned, you can do whatever the hell you want to. It's your truck. You own the damn thing. You know, the company doesn't own it. So, yeah. So, I mean, and the, the thing is, as well, is you got to know that you got to put gas into it. I mean, that's one of the utmost, foremost things is that trucks require that. There are electric semi-trucks, but getting into that kind of business is even harder and trickier than getting into any other rig. But in general, rigs are hard to drive. Because of everything that's not just driving, and how to it's just it's stuff to also make the truck go, as well as all the legalities are a lot more than just any other car. 
to drive it. So, yeah. The stuff that I don't even know, that I, I even if I could tell you, wouldn't matter because you still have to learn it yourself. There's just there's some things I cannot teach you anyway because you have to learn it by experience. And the thing as well, you have to have experience, prior experience, which is also being prepared before you ever step foot into a, any vehicle, let alone a semi-truck. It's also better to just to be way more prepared experience in a semi-truck before you take off on one of those and go, okay, I'll drive for a year. You know? And another thing is, is that they better not say that you, you have to drive for a year before you get paid. Now, they could get away with it so many moons ago with some companies, but nowadays that is illegal as hell, as far as I know, anyway. I, I don't know. Maybe that's changed. But as far as I'm, I, I know, last thing I read, it's just been a while, is that they have to pay you. It might take a little bit before they decide to give you some, but not a whole year. You know? And it depends on when they pay you. You know, you can't just do that and do it for free because what if you're stuck on the road and, uh, yeah, you have no food? Oh, that's another reason why you have to be prepared to stock up on some food on the way and put it in the vehicle. Uh, you know, store it with some trash bags, whatever, just to have one side for trash and the other one just for to keep your food in. As you never know what these things with regards to whether you have a truck that you own or that's theirs. It doesn't matter. That's one of the things they don't provide and cover for because it might be a while, but even then, uh, if it takes them a year to pay you, there's something wrong. You know, because no company should take so damn long to start trusting their employees to start paying them. You know, because you can't just not pay your employees. It's an actual federal law. It is federal law you have to pay your employees in a timely manner not a year it's like okay well five years before i can get paid and yet i'm sitting here broke on empty and i have no food you know and a lot of places that you go to as well i am not sure but i've heard that even with semi trucks they have to pay a parking fee and that's not always covered by the company. So, I mean, unless the company pays for it, which not all companies will. You might find a company that will. It's covered in the plan. But, the, in, you know, you have to make sure you're legally covered just to park there. And a lot of places that do for semi-trucks, or rigs, whatever you call them, it's the same thing. You know, you got to know everything involved. You cannot just say, okay, I'll drive before I know. It doesn't work. I don't see how that's ever going to be safe. Because it's illegal as hell. It is. To be unsafe. You know. But anyway, so the next step in the news is Racism. A lot of things that are, you know, talked about are still racism. There have been videos I have clicked on, and I've seen quite a few of them, but then I don't bother with a lot of them, just the same old stuff. But then if it's something else along with it, I will click it. Uh, like that selfie photo. I don't remember if I mentioned this or not, but it's like this. It's a racist selfie. Now, that just cannot be. And I'm going to tell you why it cannot be. Because anybody can make a photo, as it was called in my time, and I'm going to call it like that, on a damn selfie. The difference is, is sometimes they put filters on them and call them selfies, but other than that, it looks the same. So, because sometimes they don't at all, and they still call it a selfie. So what the hell is the difference? Not much. Other than them just 
putting a slapping a name on there and maybe sometimes putting a filter on there of some kind, whatever for whatever dumb fucking reason that they want to do, which is fine with me. I don't care. It's it's cool. Moving on. So yeah. Like that one photo where because this one cop said the N word. Okay, and the thing is a lot of people will go out of the way because you're black or because of this and that. Racism still exists. No matter how much we may try, and it no, is that it is not acceptable anywhere, but there's not much we can do. As much as I hate to say it, don't live there. And that's not me personally saying I have a problem with you living there, but what else can you do? I mean, you don't have to take that kind of crap. It's not right that they do that, but, you know, that you have to move, but where else can you live when there's no racism? You know, no, nobody judging you. That's still judgment in itself. You know, you have to find a good, suitable place where you're safe and not, you know, have to worry about somebody judging you, uh, you know, based on whatever the hell you are, color, religion, or anything like that. And it's, it's stupid, but what can you do, you know? And yeah, you can get a lot of things changed and whatnot, but a lot of, a lot of places just do not change, no matter what. Now, we might face the future sometime in whatever century. I don't know when. I'm just saying it might. But in the meantime, there's no possibility or guarantee, a guarantee beyond a possibility. That's it. That's it. That it may happen. And it could be like centuries from now. Yeah, kind of like in the Federation. Only we still have racism anyway because of galactic races in the galaxy. They say... Damn filthy humans trying to kill them or something like that. You know, always some kind of, because uh, they don't understand, they have to rage war or something. It's absolutely religiously dumb, but racism still exists. The only difference is in that timeline or time frame of a timeline, whatever you want to call it, all the same thing really, is that racism no longer exists on Earth. That's it. I mean, racism still exists, but no longer between the humans, in other words. So the next step of the news, speaking of the laws and stuff like that, people are still doing, popping a willy on the road. I didn't know these things were highly illegal, but what happened to going to a state park somewhere, or, you know, you ride around and pop a willy all you want to. Just do that. Unless they change the law on that, which would be stupid, because it's a park. You know, what the hell is that noise? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you look crazy. So anyway, but yeah, and they're just not doing it. I mean, there are skateboard parks out there where they skateboard. They used to do bikes where they would pipe a willy. What happened to that? I don't know. The next step in the news, and I'm going to tell you, is speaking of laws and stuff like that, there is this whole thing about receipts. I like how we're more concerned about that for the news to do anything about it, where we're just leaving with items, and we, whether we have a receipt or not. When we've been doing it for so long, you got something to hide? And yet we're only worry, we're still worried about... Like when we return items and people refuse to show their receipt or they just don't have one when they return items. It's absolutely ridiculous. And they expect to have a refund or get store credit. Without a receipt. The, camer the cameras may be rolling but we're not... We're not focused about that, but we're more worried about if we leave with items. I've been to stores. Not every store has had that issue where they check your receipt. But you want to know why they check your receipt? It's because people have a tendency to put items in your basket, basket where it's a person who purchased something or someone else who put something in your basket. And you don't even know it. 
and I want to make sure that it's all on the list in order on the prime uh, the receipt so that you don't get in trouble and they're just trying to help you out that's part of their job that's why they get paid to look out for the customers who are leaving and then the thing is as well is that if you forget an item yeah they're just trying to help you that's why they're doing that they're not doing it so they can harass you don't give me that oh it's just harassment it's just stupid because they're asking to receive my receipt it's not like they're asking to see you get uh, take off your clothes and do inappropriate things with them. They're just asking to see your receipt because they want to check and make sure that everything in that basket is on that receipt. That's it. That's all they care about. It's part of their damn job. Let them do their damn job. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, are you trying to hide something? It sounds like you're trying to hide something. Speaking of that, there have been people, and the next up in the news, <laughs> as well, speaking of that, uh, people have been, you know, running out of courtrooms like this one dude. Like, come on, man. Now you make it bad for us who just want to just, you know, pay, sit there and pay our time, you know, for things. And even though this individual may have had a different color, has nothing to do with it because other people have been with different colors of the same thing. So it doesn't really matter. So that's not the issue. The issue, and it would never be, not in my book anyway, is the fact that he escaped the courtroom. And yes, also, by the way, his the gender is a male. Not that that matters, because it doesn't matter, because even females have known to be known that it is. Again, not all males, not all whatever, okay? So let's not go into that, alright? So anyway, moving on. So he made bad, and he comes back, he was facing already one charge of murdering somebody, and they said he was innocent. I don't know, I believe it's possible he's not innocent, but then again... What do I know? I didn't watch the guy, so I have no jurisdiction as far as that goes. And that's my point of view about that. And, you know, and in this case, it wasn't to do with racism because they didn't do that. It was because, again, he escaped and made it harder for a lot of people who just want to be there. You don't have to worry about, you know, because they, they stepped up community. I mean, they're the guard because he got away. Like a fool. And I say an innocent man doesn't run. Well, there are people that are innocent, and I and I hate to break it to you, but they do run. Because if they have no choice, they do. It just depends on whether or not you're living in that kind of reality. And this reality, yeah, you cannot just run. Until you're proven innocent. Now that may be that may exist in some theorized reality, but in this reality, no. You have to face it just like anybody else does, unfortunately. So it still makes you look guilty. I mean, no matter what reality. But the difference is is that in that reality, yeah, I suppose you could. But that is not this reality. It's like with the whole Grand Theft Auto video games and Need for Speed. That is not this reality. They do not let you get away with things like that. I cannot stress that enough. So, next up in the news, stimulus checks. They were talking about 2000 and they said more. And then they want to talk about if you want to get even more than that, which there is no guarantee of that. Because, and not just because of dependence, but because if you didn't get the $600, uh, yeah, or for whatever reason. Uh, and it's going to be $1,400, period, for anybody. For anybody who's on stimulus, or is going to supposedly be promised a stimulus, and then it'll be the third package. There's supposed to be more packages, but we don't know if that's going to be a thing or not through the course. And and then they were talking about as well in the news about that, speaking of that in relation. Um, 
is the fact that we may still face having to deal with the beer, as it is called, even though that people still ultimately have the medical term COVID-19 or Corona. And the reason why people, aka, call it the beer because there is actually a beer called Corona. And, uh, anyway, so moving on. My thing is that if you look at it and they say something about all these vaccinations that are supposed to help out with this virus or help you cure it or whatever. Why would we still have to deal with it? You know, if people if people had gotten all of these injections of this thing, these vaccinations, then why would we have to still deal with it? Unless there's people out there, unless we're dealing with people who are medically contained until they finally decide to make the decision to go ahead and go forward with doing it. That's the only thing I can think of, but they didn't say that. This is a, because we may still have to deal with it. So what the hell are you talking about then? So, you know, and another thing in the news. Well. That, uh, it just, you know, people getting scammed, being made to chew to do things. And that's, uh, you know what? After a while, it just seems to be monotonous because they're just going through this thing about testing out people and see if they're legitimate people that will know what to do. I understand that, but at the same time, it just seems to be repetitive. Just to me, anyway. And I'm not going to say that, oh, well, you shouldn't be watching it, but it is interesting to know and find out who you can trust and who you can't trust. Once you've seen it once or however many times, that's plenty. You don't need 20 billion times to go, No, I finally get it after you told me it. Why don't you just tell me 20 billion more damn times? I didn't get it the first 20 billion times, you a-hole. Anyway. So moving on. You know, kind of reminds me of Dragon Ball Super when people would complain about, Oh, it's just the same old repetitive. Somebody's a clown or whatever. No, they're not. Sorry about Goku Evil or Goku Samasu that fused with Samasu that became ultimately Samasu when he can when he fused with himself. Uh, was not a clone. They didn't have other clones. I don't know what the hell you people are talking about. As a matter of fact, when it first started out, there was two arcs and they had two movies that are different compared to what they were showing in the episodes. I mean, a lot of it was the same. But ultimately, it was different for the movies. Absolutely ridiculous. Battle of the Gods. Which I didn't get because... Unlike in the manga, there was more Battle of the Gods. It was more of a battle between a god and a Saiyan. You know, a god of destruction versus a Saiyan who... You know... Had to find... You know... Super Saiyan God, or whatever you want to call it, and unlike what we were promised, which, you know, even though despite of that, we actually had a good entertaining movie, it wasn't all that in a bag of chips by no amount of means, that it could have been better, because it was kind of like basically having a normal Saiyan, oh, you know, the only difference is, is the hair is red. And it didn't really look all that super because, well, the hair was normal, unlike when he went to Super Saiyan. So, you know, but, you know, other than that, you know. You know. Well, we on. So, that, you know, and, and that, that's just the thing, you know. We got a good show. And the movie, the second one in the arc, as well as the show, was Resurrection, Re Resurrection F. I don't think they really called it that when it came to the series, but either way, 
they were sold more or less ultimately the same. Because it was fighting Frieza. You know. And, you know, they still had to wipe out Frieza. You know, thanks to Goku and all that crap. But other than that, they made no more movies until eventually, I think, what was it, maybe after the show ended, and they made one where they finally made Broly canon. Only it was a brand new Broly. So, I don't know. It was interesting, but it still... It could have been more handled if they'd have done the original Broly. If they would have brought the original Broly into it and made him more of the dude that could have had the potential, which is always going to be a proven fact that that one there could, would have had more of a potential because he had he had no chance to change. This one here didn't even need to change. He just had to control his power. I mean, that one there had to control his power, but he wasn't exactly evil. He was just more... He had gone insane because his powers drove him that way. So, because he was out of control, his powers, he couldn't control his powers. So, and they will never, even, you know, here's another fun fact for you. Even with the new Broly, they can't, they'll never explain the difference between, you know, um, when they bulk up. And that, when they're still as fast. Now, I don't know about Khalifa, or was it Khalifa? I, I can't remember her name, though. Uh, oh, God. Let's look that up, shall we? Dragon Ball... You're an a-hole, you know that, right? Dragon... You son of a bitch. Dragon Ball... Super... Characters. I really wish you would not... Character names. Alright, let's move on. Okay, you've got... Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's move it on. And we already know all these. Yeah, 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 yeah. Modern doesn't seem to have a picture for some reason. That's crazy. Who the hell is Kyoko? I've never heard of that guy. Barry Khan. Okay. Uh, narrator, you see... Young gal, Keto, but, um, uh, they don't seem to be showing... Why would Majin Buu be part of it? I don't... Well, you know that. I know Gogeta is part of it. But, uh... Yeah, 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 Samasu. Okay. Uh... Okay, Dragon Ball Super... Tournament of Power. Tournament of Power. I do not like you. You know that, right? I said, up. Oh, stop changing it. A Power. Character name. Okay. Who was not part of it? I mean, well, actually, it was, it was Khalifa Kefla. That's her name, Kefla. Yeah, between her, um, yeah, uh, 
and uh, whenever they had the Ascended Saiyan, well, it really wasn't considered official until... I, I, the thing is, if you think about it, technically they really couldn't make up their mind, but either way, it actually was Ascended and truly surpassed anything when Gohan first achieved it, Super Saiyan 2, the actual Super Saiyan 2, with, with Lightning Aurora, you know. And blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, and... Anyway, between that and... You know, when they all buffed up before that, like when Vegeta did it, he was fast, but they said he said that... The thing is, though, is that Trunk somehow surpassed... He, he got... Uh, he sacrificed speed. Whereas... They, you don't You don't really notice it too much, but if you think back... Yeah, but Gito was pretty fast. He really was. Uh, I guess Trunks was fast, but not as fast as, say, Broly or Kefla when they transformed. Well, excuse me, not Kefla. Kale. Sorry, Kale. Whatever. Before... Uh, Super's version of Broly before a well, BBS Broly. She turned out to be a Saiyan from Universe 6. Uh, Kale is afraid, and Kalipa tells her to remember to go flashy again. Goku and Top stare each other down, and her face is amused at the amount of tension. And <coughs> <coughs> so, anyway, yeah, so Kale, excuse me, whatever, goes into the buff mode. The difference is, is that she's more in the class of Broly. And they never do explain that, you know, it's more like, okay, it, unless you become the class of how strong and fast they are, which would be, I guess it, I don't know. If you want to really know ultimately overall, it's up to the writers. Way over that, because, you know, how they want to write it out, how they want to do it. No, that that's it. Anyway, so but beyond that, um, explaining it in terms of how it's possible within the amount of the, sh the means of the show itself, then it would be because they would have to have what Broly was able to learn and do over the years. With his power, or with his insane amount of power and speed he had learned through the years. But ultimately, how to explain it beyond that is how they write it all out according to the what the creators want and how they want it to turn out to be. If they want Broly to be this massive super guy that has fast speed and all of a sudden has pointy boobs or some crap like that would be really stupid, but, you know, whatever. That's their freaking decision. And, um, you know, beyond that explanation, there is nothing else to it. I mean, between those two explanations, it's all you've got. You know, because, I mean, in other words, the fictionalized version of it would be how to explain it within the show. But as far as being a reality goes, it's all in how the creator wants it. You know, sometimes they'll take fan suggestions and put it in there, which I think it's interesting sometimes. But there's just some things that should not be. Based on what, from what I've seen, uh, Trunks did have a girlfriend. But I don't understand why they didn't just leave it like that instead of having him... With my, between the fan version of it, because I thought that was really stupid. That's just my personal opinion, and based off the facts that I know for a fact. Because Trunks is a character that, and this is like, more of the kind of, well, future Trunks. From, you know, from other series and mangas and shows that are not... Hannon. So, but pretty much, I really wish you would stop that. I mean, seriously, I don't care. I don't care. And in other news, final bit of news 
that there is a woman by the last name of DeFranco. I can't remember her first name. I don't know if she's related to Philip DeFranco. I, maybe I wasn't. I don't know. Maybe not. It's not pos. It's not. I don't mean I'm saying that she's actually related to him, but it may be. Whether again, not maybe not because of the name. You know, that's not racist. Okay, that's just being saying related because of the name. Otherwise, no. It's like with any name you put out there, as long as they have a last name and not a full name, not a not a. Uh, You know, not, not your first name. It all depends on what your last name is. Say your last name is Morrison. And you got somebody else whose name is Morrison. It doesn't necessarily mean you're related to them or not related to them. You never know. You could be. Like distant cousins or something. And, you know, because believe it or not, people had, do have cousins... They're so far distant that it's not even funny. Like, there could be a guy that marries a woman with the last name Morrison, but they're not blood. Truly. Nobody thinks about that, but it's like, oh, well, it must be, you know, incest or something. And again, there's nothing against incest personally for me, because I don't have anything against it, but that doesn't mean I have to be that way. It doesn't. No more than... Uh, mutual love between a man and a man or whatever, that doesn't mean I have to be that way. I am just me. I'm straight as a whistle. That makes no sense. I'm just straight, okay, period. But even so, I have no problem with it. I have, wouldn't even have a problem with me being gay if I was gay. And especially because sometimes in life, there's another thing you don't realize, fun fact for you. You may not plan it, and it's, not, it's never going to be a planned out thing. You may turn out to be eventually this. You don't get to choose it. It just happens. You're not born gay. You're not born straight. You're not born anything. It's like sort of having a clean slate. Seriously. Every time you are born, and this is a proven fact, a science known study, you are not born anything. I mean, well, Beyond your gender, of course. Or whatever. Sometimes you're born with both. But ultimately, what you wind up doing in life, even if it's right away or eventually, it's like almost like having... Well, no, it's not either. It's more like you have a turnaround in life that you never expect to happen. All of a sudden, oh, all your life, you're not gay. But eventually... You're gay. And it doesn't matter if you've said it or not that you're against gays or whatever. You either become that way or you don't. It just depends. Okay? It's not because you said it that way or you didn't. It just happens. And personally, if I become that way, then I become that way. I'm not going to say that I am gay, but if I do become it, then I'm not going to deny it. I'm just saying that, like, you know, whatever, like, it, you take about, like, 20 years or so from the date of whenever, or whenever it decides to happen, or it may just never happen. It's all, what the point is, it's always possible to be something that you were, you never think you're going to be. And it's always possible that you're never going to be that way. Because the future is not set in stone. I mean, you can, you can always, you know, that, oh, yeah, you're definitely straight. You're happy with that. But the thing of it is, as well, is you got to be happy with no matter what way life turns out to be for you, even if you're that way or whatever you become in life. You have to be happy with that. It just, you can't just be like, oh, man. Well, actually, you could, but it's just ridiculous. But, anyway, so, moving on, thank you all for watching, as always, and, um, yeah, this has been interesting for me. I have always tried to do the news a certain way, but, you know, 
all the articles I've read today can be found. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to provide any links, but if you want them, they're on YouTube. You can find them there. Uh, I don't provide links uh, other than to check out. Um, I If I can find the links or whatever, they will be posted. And that's if I can remember as well. Because I just like to talk about them. And uh, I could put in whatever, but that doesn't guarantee that my video will be like somebody else's. And that's not why I do it either. And here's another thing. I do it for free. I have nobody sponsoring me except for myself. I sponsor myself, except I don't pay myself. That's the difference. I have no money to pay myself. I can't just hire myself, you know. I mean, the future me could if he was making a lot of money. Like truck back when we all struggled for keep trucking life. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of his videos. Even though I'm not really into country music, but anyway, crazy lady driving on I-80. Alexis Anzali, blah, blah, blah. You know, and Border Patrol. That looks like a woman that was renting somewhere. I can't say where. I, I don't answer questions. Rookie driver, dumb mistake. Here's why. Insurance scammer. One of the videos I will never recommend clicking on is somebody who... Here's another thing as well, that absolutely tries to get back at scammers. And that is not funny at all. Seeing that somebody actually makes a call on two different phones to do different companies, making them put an order between each other, that's really stupid and highly and It should be illegal as hell. Because... You know, that's just dumb. There's no company is going to call the other, you know, ever. They don't ever call each other. They might have where employees might eat at their places. You know, regardless of whether they like the food or not. It doesn't matter. Even if it's better or not, it doesn't matter. Because you got a job. And you couldn't just, you can't just go, well, my, I think, uh, well... I recommend that you personally go over here instead of go over there. That's dumb. That reflects poorly. It doesn't reflect poorly just because you eat at a different place. It's like yours. It's when you go and raid it where... I would never recommend going to my place. Or the, I mean, the place I work for because, you know... It's just so horrible over there. I, I mean, have you tasted it? I thought it was horrible, you know? You should never do that. Because plenty of people get fired for that, and that's not a good idea. Plus, it reflects badly. And it, and the thing of it is, as well, is that when you have, uh, oh, what they call them, inspectors, and if they go over there and taste it and it tastes fine, that is a false review that should never be done. Towards any company. You can say all how much you don't like them. But never review it to the point that. Oh you should never go over there. I always recommend this place. I don't really care about that. I want to unsubscribe. But yeah. So. In essence. You know. I should also point out. Sorry about that, but this little extension here. But when you make a video, don't put it on for, you know, only kids. And don't turn off your comment section if you're going to say, leave a comment. Because not everybody can get through to Messenger and go, okay, or no to check Messenger. Because they're not going to find you on Messenger by this certain name unless you put out, my name is yada, yada, yada on Messenger, so just leave me a message and I'll get to you. You know, uh, rather, uh, it'd be like a message, because that's what it's called, but it's more like a comment through a message, more specifically. In order to make it just a comment, you would have to leave it on a video. You cannot do that if it's turned off. I got a buddy of mine who was telling me, leave a comment. 
And I'm like, okay. I go to the video. Comments are turned off. Where, where was it at? Where, where was this video at? Something about um, impressions or some crack. And, and, and I say crack because I don't remember the name of the video, but uh, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I think it may have disappeared. Yeah, there it is. Well, that's one of them, but there was another one. And they both have it on there where you cannot comment on the video itself. You just, you know, you, you, there's no, there's no comment section because it's turned off. You know, I mean, not, not one you can comment on for their videos. I mean, I don't know how you're supposed to comment on that. Seriously. I mean, how, how, how do you comment on something that cannot be done? Unless you like, oh, I don't know, message them. And they're not even mentioning, um, saying anything about Messenger. They're just saying, leave a comment. You can't do that. It doesn't work that way. Oh, there it is. Famous singer impressions. Great video, content, and all that. But if you want people to comment on your video, you got to open it up. Okay? And you shouldn't put it for kids anyway because of all the legalities they still have going on this platform. And that's just my only advice to you. You know, and you know what would be interesting, speaking of that, would be like if Bray Wyatt versus The Fiend. Now that would be something. Just himself versus... The guy he portrays behind, or the, the mask, with the mask on. Wouldn't that be something? I mean, for all you wrestling fans out there, what, wouldn't that be something interesting to see? See who would be the guy that, that uh, who would win? Between, it's like, you know, it's kind of, it would be kind of like Kane versus Kane, only it wasn't really with himself, you know. Unlike in video games, I mean in real life, um, you know, or get someone to actually wrestle like what he would do if he was going to go versus himself, you know. They didn't ever do that with the Kane saga of uh, between Undertaker and all that or whoever dressed as Kane. They never, they never did that. So that would be something that's really interesting. Is somebody who has the same exact moves and whatnot as the fiend. Alien is the best. I don't know about that. The one thing I like about is there are content, certain content I actually like to watch, and that's the forest, and I watch the raft. And I might watch, like, some other things. But the the whole... And I'm not even expecting the raft. But I'm so invested in the whole forest thing that I don't really care to watch anything else right now. You know. Especially because... See, the thing is, is that the three people that are involved don't no longer do prop hunt. Or... Traitor or whatever the whatever other game there was by Gmod and it, it's crazy because in my personal opinion they were the best company. I mean even though you have other people that was with them that had their own little deal, but they don't. It's not as you know popular separate for other people you've never even heard of. Like who the hell is this Joker? I don't know who this guy is. And now they got the start trying to advertise for Vanos Gaming. I'm not playing. He's on Facebook now. Yeah, he's now got a Twitter account. I mean, I don't know if it's just now, but still. I am not following this guy. I don't give a crap about you. I mean, seriously. You don't deserve your subs. You haven't done it legitimately. You know? 
you have, you know, I, I, and that's just my personal opinion. Because I've been in this business a lot longer before Vanos Gaming was even a thing. You know, the way it becomes a thing is when become, even if someone's been doing it a lot longer than they have, is they have a lot of damn subscribers. And I'm like, you know, that's not fair. I'm not even asking for subscribers. I mean, I have started to every, you know, I've done it once in a while, but not as much as they have. And all of a sudden, they got the crap load of subscribers. And it's like, no, 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 no. I'm not following your content. The people I follow, even if they do have sponsors, which is obligorously crazy, you know. I, I just don't much care for the sponsorship. But I will watch them anyway. You know. And it depends on what it is and what they have. And there's not everyone that's, that I'm watching has, has a sponsorship. Still, no. No way. I've been helping and supporting people, but not people who just kind of just came out of nowhere. How a lot of subscribers... For me to even notice that they were there. It's like, no, 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 no. Why should I care about you? And another thing is, you gotta have content, and I don't want to see them starting it while I'm doing it. Even though I'm almost, I'm not even almost done with the game, but I'm like halfway through it. Or if I, even if I'm close to beating it, I don't want to see that. You know? I mean, I don't care if they get it on the channel, but I'm not going to want to watch that. Not until I'm done. You know? That's it. I'll support you as much as I can, but if you're doing the same damn thing, don't expect a view from me until I'm done with mine. Them's the cookies. But that's just spoiling it for myself, and I don't want to spoil it. You know? Either way, I have to go now and subscribe to the links down below. Uh, you know, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, just do the link. And I mean, you know, if you want to, I guess hit the like button. Shit the crap out of it. You don't have to hit the notification bell because screw the notification bell. Now they're going to start pulling that kind of crap. Screw the damn thing. But do keep an eye out on my channel from time to time anyway. Try to keep a close eye as much as possible because... I do attend, I do have uploads and, there, and videos coming out that I'm, I'm... I do have recordings I do intend to do. And I do intend to finish Final Fantasy VI before a certain someone else does. Even if it's freshly made. And I am almost done with the damn game. I don't care how hard I try, I will do it. I won't let them rip the cover from underneath me. At least for one thing, anyway. Anyway. Yeah. And always, as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.